Here in part three, we're going to be focusing on adding more details to make it look a, mm, spicy. We might even now utilize this piece a little bit more. And so let's maybe, hmm, because I want to join these two pieces together and I don't want to just kind of like bridge that gap how we had it before. So I could just pull all this across. So for instance, I could select this and this. I like that. Technically, we should be able to separate this back piece, um, like this vent, but I'm okay with that. Uh, this piece here is now floating. So maybe we just pull this back with the GY. Yep. And then we'll select this face, only a scale, something like so. E to extrude. Maybe we grab this and we'll pull it back. Scale Z. Nice. I think that looks good. And so now when we're rotating, nope. Let's make sure we clear the parent on that one. We can actually just come into object data, I think, relations, and delete the parent. Done. So now when we rotate on the X axis, beautiful. And I think that that looks now pretty delicious. The other thing as well they have to think about is how much detail we have to put into it. Because I know that the shots are probably never going to be this close. I reckon there, this is going to be the furthest. And so you have to remember that we're looking at a 1080, 1080p screen. Might be going 4K. I don't know. We'll see what we render at. So we don't have to go too far into the micro details, um, but we can. It just all depends on kind of like what you think about the render and what it's going to be doing. So for instance, kind of like these ladders here that I added in previously, it'll just cast a bit of a contrast. And so it breaks up the paneling quite nicely. Um, let's go ahead now and create the base. And then we'll do another pass on top, adding more greebles and such. So let's go focus on the base. Object selected, Shift S, cursor selected. I'm going to go into, let's go into a cylinder, I reckon. Scale, Shift Z. And we'll bring it down in object mode. So to sit about there, I think now we can start getting into a bit of the nitty gritty and lowering everything else. So I'm going to go select all these objects, GZ. Now, because I haven't animated anything yet, I can move it in object mode perf perfectly fine. Let's, oh, I actually like that. I think that looks nice. I'm going to select these back four. E to extrude. Scale Y zero, scale Y zero. I hate you. I think I've duplicated something by accident. So control Z, E to extrude along the Y, scale Y zero. There we go. And then that gives us kind of like a really nice platform to work on. I do want to come back into the references and check out these ones. What do these look like? Yeah, some paneling. Um, I really do like this one here. I like how We've got our circle and then just extra bits coming off it. Maybe this piece is the piece that bolts it to the ship. I like that idea. Let's take that. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm thinking. I'm always thinking. But I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm cooking with gas. So let's shift D, duplicate that. Scale Z. I'll scale that in a bit more. G, Y, E to extrude. So we've given a little bit of detail there. Um, I'm going to grab here, here. If I press J, what's going to happen? That's done a great cut. Here, oh goodness. Here to here, J. Um, let's just delete the bottom face so we're not messing with that. Just giving us extra headaches. Delete face. What I'll do here is another way to create paneling. I can go Control B to do a bevel. I'm going to add in an extra loop by pressing... Um, middle mouse up and we'll bring it in and we'll go like left click there control numpad minus will uh, shrink my selection and then i can go alt s to scale and we bring it in like so let's just kind of like put that in the middle there a bit so gy and put it about there i can see it's a bit crooked scale y zero nice and so now you can see how we've made that cut. If I wanted to, I can press V to rip. So now that this piece here is separate to the front section, which is kind of what we want. And then if we wanted to, we can come in and start adding in more um, 
panel lines, but I like that we've separated this. I think that's great. Let's go Alt left click in here to add in an edge loop. What? Control R to add in an edge loop through there. I'm going to select this bottom edge loop. E to extrude, right click to put that back in place. And then we'll do an Alt S to scale along the normal. So now we kind of have this step. Mm, I'm okay with that. I don't see that as a too big of a problem. I'm going to select this edge, Control B to do a bevel, something like that. Yes, I am happy with that. That looks great. Right click, auto smooth. To me, that's looking delicious. The pin will attach to this, I reckon. So that's going to be the central point for the rotation. Um, maybe we might create something that bolts it to the ship. I do like that previous one. What if, what if we scale this down a bit? GY. And then it comes to something like that. That looks nice. So if you've gotten this far, can you just hit the subscribe button? I'm trying to get that 100,000 mark and it would help tremendously. Um, shift S cursor selected. Let's add in, yeah, something that's a bit of a, almost like a locking pin, I guess. So if you do something like this, scale, scale Y, uh, scale Z, and we'll bring that back up. Let's do here, control B to do a bevel. And then I'm just going to raise this section, GZ. I like that. I feel that we could probably do a bit more. So let's go shift D, scale on the X axis, stretch that out, scale on the Y axis, stretch that out. GZ, I'm going to bring this down, E to extrude. That's looking kind of cool. I like that idea. I almost feel that we could select these faces in here. Uh, press I to do an inset, delete delete face and then I'm going to come in and close off these faces FFF just do one face and then FFF nice there's some interesting shapes in there maybe we do alt left click alt left click control B and that gives us something like that a little bit unique a little bit interesting I think that looks great let's do add modifier add modifier generate mirror modifier puts it onto the other side nice looking hunky-dory. And then maybe what we're missing is shift S cursor selected, shift A, add in a cylinder. At the moment, it's got 32 sides. I want it to be six, scale that puppy down. And you can see now that we have created several bolts. Oops, control L, shift D, rotate Z 180, G, Y. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Nice. Nice. Um, let's kind of go back to our references and see how they've done it. Big pins, big pins. Ah. Oh, I like that idea. I forgot what they're called. Flanges? Let's go ahead and add in some flanges. I don't know what that was. Shift D, Y. Scale X. Um, two edge loops. And we'll grab these two edges, GZ, E to extrude, Control L, Shift D, Y. Nice. I think that looks great. We need to do something in the middle here. What I'm thinking is if I press I to do an inset, E to extrude. There we go. So now we've given ourselves a little bit of extra depth. Um, maybe we go Shift S, cursor selected. Let's throw a cylinder on here. We know we need that. Let's bring that back up to 32 edges. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go, um, whoops, I to do an inset, E to extrude, control B to do a bevel. So we have these kinds of pins, control L, Select everything that's linked, P separate by selection. Uh, let's get the mirror modifier on that one, copy to selected. So now when we come in here, I start going G, I hate you. Um, this selected, 
And then we go onto the windshield. I can press the period key and it'll automatically zoom me in onto that object. And shift D. Uh, now, like I've said before, this will probably be on Patreon. So if you want to go check that out over there with a whole bunch of other resources. And also if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I'm trying to hit the 100,000 mark before the end of the year. So that's looking good. Really trying to break up that silhouette. And I think that's almost enough. But we do need to add in what this is going to be rotating on. So last thing before we stop in this video, copy to selected. Let's go into a cylinder, bring that in, and we will cheat. So we've got the one object, okay? Yeah, let's go something like this. Mm, I feel, feel that we still need to do this. Let's go edge loop through here. Control, let's go V to rip, and then I can do scale, shift Z. Shift Z means I won't do it on the Z axis and we can pull that out. Let's now just go F to create a face, F to create a face here, F. Control B to do a bevel, and then that gives us that. And then from here, this is the point where it's gonna be rotating, which is good, that works out really well. Let's go ahead and maybe create Okay, I'll stuff this up. Let's bring this down. And what we'll do is we'll create some flanges on this bit. So let's go ahead and add in a cube, period key. I don't even know where it is, GZ. Let's just fix this up. Nice and big. I can go control B to do a bevel. And then what we will do is rotate 90, plop that on here, I'm kind of trying to find our circle there and shift D on there. We can now bring this down it's to there-ish. I think that looks great. Move that over. This one here is clipping, which is fine. G, Y, move that one over. Perfect, add modifier, mirror modifier, puts it onto there. Nice, that is looking good. Now the things that we're missing is obviously some sort of like electronics or you know even some piping but it's coming along. Um, I think what we might do as well is I might just bevel this section. Mm. Oh, actually, yeah, let's do that. Alt left click, E to extrude, right click, put that back in place, Alt S to scale that up. Nice, oh, gorgeous. Um, we will separate this section, Control P, separate by, oops, P separate by selection, nice so that now that whole top section can rotate. Definitely we've got things missing, but I reckon we're gonna do now a final pass of the Greebles, and then we'll go from there.